Hello students. In this lecture, we will see how to find gradient of a scalar point function and the physical significance or geometrical meaning of gradient of a scalar point function. Now in the previous video, we defined gradient of a scalar point function which is dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou z dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap. The question is, what would be the geometrical meaning of gradient of a scalar point function? Now, if we have a scalar point function phi of x, y, z equal to say a constant C1. Now, this is an implicit form of representing a surface. In some of the cases, we can ex obtain an expression as z equal to function of x, y by rearranging. But in most of the cases, this would be a, the implicit representation of a surface. So gradient phi, in fact, represents normal to the surface at x, y, z. That is the reason we often hear the term gradient especially in fields where we need to know the slope or the inclination at every point especially in cases like the banking of the roads. Gradient is a common term used in banking of the roads. Higher the gradient, the more the inclination. Now we know that gradient of phi represents a normal vector to the surface at the point x, y, z. So if we have intersecting surfaces then they intersect along a curve. Now if we recollect angle between curves To find this, we used angle between tangents. When we talk about surfaces, so we will have tangent planes. So to find angle between tangent planes, we use angle between the normals. Therefore, angle between surfaces will be angle between the normals at the point of intersection. So if you have n1 and n2 as normals to each of the surfaces, then the angle is given angle between the surfaces is given by cos theta equal to n1 n2 n1 dot n2 divided by magnitude of n1 into magnitude of n2. Now we'll see how to find angle between two surfaces x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to 9 and z is equal to x squared plus y squared minus 3 at 
टू माइनस वन टू वी हैव जस्ट सीन दैट एंगल बिटवीन सरफेसेस इज गिवन बाय कॉस थीट इक्वल टू एन वन डॉट एन टू बाय एन वन एन टू नव वेक्टर एन इज नॉर्मल टू द सरफेस एंड दैट इज गिवन बाय ग्रैट फाइव सो इफ यू चूज फाइव वन ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वाड प्लस वाई स्क्वाड प्लस जेड स्क्वाड वेदर वी कंसिडर द कॉन्स्टेंट और नॉट इट डज नॉट मैटर इफ यू कंसिडर द कॉन्स्टेंट दैन फाइव वन इक्वल टू जीरो इज द सरफेस और एल्स फाइव वन इक्वल टू इफ यू डो नॉट कंसिडर द कॉन्स्टेंट द सर्फेस विल बी फाइव वन इक्वल टू नाइन सिमिलरली वी टेक फाइव टू टू बी एक्स स्क्वाड प्लस वाई स्क्वाड माइनस जेड माइनस थ्री ना ग्रेडियंट फाइव फाइव वन इज डो फाइव वन बाय डो एक्स आई कैप प्लस डो फाइव वन बाय डो वाई जे कैप प्लस डो फाइव बाय डो जेड के कैप विच विल बी टू एक्स आई कैप प्लस टू वाई जे कैप प्लस टू जेड के कैप द वेक्टर एन वन इज ग्रेडियंट फाइव फाइव वन एट टू माइनस वन टू विच विल बी एक्स इक्वल टू टू सो फोर आई कैप वाई इज माइनस वन सो माइनस टू जे कैप जेड इज टू सो वी हैव फोर के कैप Similarly, gradient phi two will be do phi two by do x i cap plus do phi two by do y j cap plus do phi three do phi two by do z k cap. So phi two is x squared plus y squared minus z minus three. So gradient phi two will be two x i cap plus two y j cap minus do by do phi two by do z is minus one. So we have minus k cap. So n two will be gradient phi two at Two minus one two, which will be x equal to two. So we have four i cap. Y is minus one, so minus two j cap. And there is no z in the. There is no x y or z in the k component, so we leave it as it is. Now cos theta is. n1 dot n2 by magnitude of n1 magnitude of n2 so n1 dot n2 the dot product is sum of the product of the components so we write 4 into 4 plus minus 2 into minus 2 Plus four into minus one. This would be the dot product of the two vectors divided by the magnitude, as explained earlier. Square root of sum of the squares of the components. 
सो फोर स्क्वाड प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वाड प्लस फोर स्क्वाड दिस वुड बी द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वेक्टर एन वन इन टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एन टू वुड बी फोर स्क्वाड प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वाड प्लस माइनस वन स्क्वाड नो दिस सिंप्लीफाइज टू ट्वेंटी फोर बाय रूट थर्टी सिक्स रूट ट्वेंटी वन विच विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर बाय सिक्स रूट ट्वेंटी वन we'll consider another example find the angle between the normals to the surface xy equal to z squared at 4 1 2 and 3 3 minus 3 so we have phi equal to xy minus z squared now we need n1 which is grad phi at 4 1 2 and n2 which is grad phi at 33 minus 3 grad phi is do phi by do x i cap plus do phi by do y j cap Plus do phi by do z k cap, which will be y i plus x j minus two z k. So vector n one will be grad phi at four one two, which will be. i cap plus 4 j cap minus 4 k cap similarly vector n2 which is grad phi at 3 3 minus 3 will be 3 i plus 3 j plus Minus two into minus three, so plus six k cap. Angle between n one and n two is given by cos theta equal to n one dot n two divided by magnitude of n one magnitude of n two. So this will be the dot product would be one into three plus four into three plus Minus four into six divided by the magnitude of n one, that is square root of one squared plus four squared plus minus four squared into square root of the magnitude of n two, that is three squared plus three squared plus six squared, and this simplifies to So simplifying, we get cos theta to be minus one by root twenty two. <coughs> we'll consider another example. Find the constants a and b such that a x squared minus b y z equal to a plus two into x 
is orthogonal to 4x squared by plus z cube equal to 4 at 1 minus 1 2. So we have two surfaces. So we consider phi 1 which is a function of x y z as a x squared minus a plus 2 into x minus b y z which is equal to 0 and phi 2 of x y z this will be 4 x squared y plus z cube minus 4 which again we equate it to 0. So phi 1 equal to 0 and phi 2 equal to 0 are the two surfaces. It is given that they intersect orthogonally at 1 minus 1 2. This means n1 dot n2 should be equal to 0 as cos theta equal to 0 because given that theta equal to pi by 2. Now n1 this is grad phi 1 at 1 minus 1 2 and n2 equal to grad phi 2 at 1 minus 1 and 2. First we find grad phi 1 which is dou phi 1 by dou x i cap plus dou phi 2 by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z this should be a 1 and this should be a 1 k cap. Now we have phi 1 to be a x squared minus a plus 2 x minus b y z equal to 0. So grad phi 1 will be a into 2 x minus a plus 2. This will be dou phi by dou x. The use of the appropriate brackets is necessary here plus dou phi by dou y dou phi 1 by dou y will be minus bz j cap plus dou phi by dou phi 1 by dou z will be minus by k cap so n1 this will be grad phi 1 at 1 minus 1 2 so this will be this will result in n1 equal to 2a minus of a plus 2 i cap minus 2b j cap plus b k cap so n1 will be a minus 2 i cap minus 2b j cap plus b k cap. Similarly, grad phi 2 will be we have phi 2 as 4x squared y plus z cube minus 4. So, do phi 2 by do x will be 8x y i cap plus dou phi 2 by dou y will be 4x squared into j cap plus four. dou phi 2 by dou z will be 3z squared k cap so vector n2 will be grad phi 2 at 1 minus 1 and 2 so this will be 
minus 8 i cap plus 4 j cap plus 12 k cap so we have vectors n1 and n2 since the two vectors two surfaces are orthogonal at the point 1 minus 1 2 the normals at those points should be perpendicular to each other and hence the dot product is 0. n1 dot n2 equal to 0 this implies a minus 2 into minus 8 plus minus 2b into 4 plus b into 12 equal to 0 so minus 16a this is minus 8a plus 16 minus 8b plus 12b equal to 0 so this simplifies to minus 8a plus 4b equal to minus 16 or 2a minus b equal to 4 we will call it as equation 1 now we have one equation in two unknowns a and b to find the values of a and b we require one more equation and that information can be obtained from the given equation of the surface itself now the point should lie on the surface 1 minus 1 2 lies on phi 1 of x y z equal to 0 that gives us a minus a minus 2 minus b into minus 1 into 2 equal to 0 this implies 2b equal to minus 2 which implies okay this should be a plus 2 so we have 2b equal to 2 which implies b equal to 1 this we substitute in equation 1 so we have 2a minus 1 equal to 4 which implies 2a equal to 5 or a equal to 5 by 2 so we have the two surfaces to be orthogonal when a equal to 5 by 2 and b equal to 1.